Chief Clark here, and this video is on the AP Computer Science A FRQ for 2022, number 4B. So in 4B, you have to write a, a method called the count increasing calls. So we're counting the number of increasing columns in the grid. So we have a grid, um, seeing if there's an increasing order. So what does increasing mean? A column is increasing if the element in each row after the first, so every subsequent row, um, element is greater than or equal to the element in the previous row. A column with only one row is considered to be in increasing order. So basically, if there's only one thing there, it'll be increasing. So here's some examples. So in this one, I have a one because the first column is 10, 10 20, 30. That's increasing one. The next one, 50, 40. No, it went down. So that's not good. 50. Okay, so if it goes down, it's not good, basically. And then 40, 20, 30, no, it went down from 40 to 30. So it's only one because that first column is increasing. 10, 20, 30, increasing. Okay, this next one is two. So let's see which two. 10, 220, yeah, that's uh, first column works. 540, 450, no, that one doesn't work. 440, 440, yeah, that one works because it's not decreasing. So again, um, I don't know why I said increasing because it should be more like not decreasing because it says greater than or equal. So 440, 440 is equal. Um, and the last one, definitely no, because it goes down. So I'm trying to find, I'm going to count up only if it goes, I'm not going to count if it goes down, basically. So I'm going to go through, and if it goes down, I'm not going to count it. Otherwise, I'll count it. Okay, it won't be null, all that same stuff that we have. So again, I'm going to start off. What do I have to return? I have to return that int. So I set up my int result, and I'm counting. So I start counting at zero. And then... Yeah, I'm going to loop through each column. So I'm doing column major in this case, but I still do c equals zero, c less than zero, grid zero dot length, and then c plus plus. So I'm looping over my columns. And then I'm going to loop over, wait, wait, wait. So I'm going to add a point, or I'm not going to add a point, or a count or something. So I'm going to say, OK, I'm going to assume that I'm going to add 1. I'm assuming that it's going to be, um, I'm going to assume that it's increasing. And only if I see something that's decreasing will, it, will I not add 1. So I'm going to add 1 no matter what. And I'm going to add it, and I'm actually going to set it up right here. So I'm going to add 1, or not 1, just that p, and the p value, not point. And again, I almost forgot, I always like to do my return result at the end before I do anything else. And then it should be set up. So now I have to see if it's not increasing. So I'm going to do that contrapositive logic. I'm going to see if there's one where it's not increasing. So it says for int r equals, and then it says, where did I say that? In each row after the first row. So I'm going to start my rows at one, not at zero. And I'll show, and you'll see why in a second. Grid dot length and R plus plus. So my normal um, C and R, except I'm starting at one here, because I'm going to I'm going to compare. So I'm starting on this row basically. So I'm starting at this 20, or I'm starting at this 40, or I'm starting at this 20. So I would start at 20, and I'm going to compare it to the one previous to it. And I don't add, so I'm assuming I add it. When do I not add? I don't add if this one is smaller than the previous one. So if my current value, if my current grid value, so grid RC is less than if it ever went down the previous one. So grid R minus one C. And again, it's the same column because we're doing one column at a time. Then we're doing the next column. So it's 20 smaller than 10. It's 30 smaller than 20. Is 50 smaller than 40? Is this 50 or is 40 smaller than 50? Is 50 smaller than 40? So is the one immediately below it less than the one above it? That's what this is saying. And I'm going to say if it is, I'm not going to add anything. I'm going to add zero. So again, for each column, I set up my column. I'm going to add one to my um, count. So as I go through that column, go down, go down, go down, if it's not increasing, if it's less than, then that point is zero. So I'm gonna add zero here. So I'm still adding something here, but it's either one or zero. And it's gonna be zero if it fails that condition. 
And again, remember, if I have a minus one in the R brackets, I have to do one right here. Because if I had zero, what's zero minus one? Negative one, that would not be a valid index. So if I do one minus one, it would be zero here, and that'd be, that is a valid index. So let's double check, make sure I got it right in my code before I finish up. Okay, so it's one and then two. So it looks like it should be good to go. So there is the last FRQ for 2022.